<laughs> You're gonna scare them just from that, not from the thing we're doing today. What's up guys, it's Sam McColby. Today, we are gonna be opening not one, not two, but four Dybbuk boxes in our own home. In Jewish folklore, a Dybbuk is a wandering and or lost spirit that has been trapped inside a box from like a witch and or a magician. So, we're letting out spirits. Into our basement. Doesn't mean they're evil. Maybe they could be kind of pissed off because they were shoved in a box for a long time. I know if I was shoved in a box, I'd be a little angry, but they could be good. It's 50-50. I, I feel like I've heard a lot of stories where they're really, really bad, and that's why they are shoved into the box. Everyone knows Post Malone's story. Post Malone just got even near the most haunted Dibbit box and then had a streak of deadly bad luck for like the next like couple months. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us. Let's open our first one. Well, this is terrifying. This one came with a purple envelope, so I'll open this. You got the divot? I got the divot, yeah. Check that out. Looks a little demented. So there's pieces of paper. What is this? Obligator Moribus. Yeah, what? Yacht Moribus. Here we got the certificate of authenticity. It says, this item has been determined to manifest unquieted spirits from beyond using a variety of standardized tests and like with a, with a full on wax seal. Wait, how do they authenticate a demon? Check this box out, guys. It's got this candle wax all around it, but what's really scary is it looks like it has Hebrew. So if anybody out there speaks this language, let me know what that says. So I'm gonna be working on this bad boy. <laughs> oh God, dude. The items in this box represent the darkness experienced by those who have known immense suffering. What the fuck? When such suffering becomes pervasive, it can spread to others in the household. It may- I'm trying my best not to die. <laughs> You're gonna stab me. However, family members may rid themselves of the torment by whispering their thoughts and threads into their most prized possessions. So our YouTube plaque, we just gotta be like, I got I suck, I fucking suck. Is that your <laughs> torment? Is just you suck? The box? In your holding represents one of two possibilities. Are you already opening it? I think I have it open. There is a reasonable chance that the items contained within the box manifest deeply disturbed emotional and psychic energy. No, wait, okay, so is this not a good thing that we're opening this? <laughs> this is not good to open. Does it say how to not get possessed by this? Boxes typically remain within a family to be passed down to succeeding generations. You cannot destroy this. So this is where it gets fucking weird. Items obtained from the estate of a 72 year old woman. Ooh, this is a 72 year old woman's and she died in May. That's recent as fuck. That's super recent, I'm sorry. Rest in peace. The items in this box were intended to be parts of lots offered by the estate company. However, they started to observe unusual phenomena while interacting with these particular objects. Holy shit. I haven't been this nervous to open a different box. I think ever. You wanna do the honors? What? Why? Cause I opened it. And now you're gonna actually open it. Well, that did, that's I, not make I any sense. I unsealed it. It's ready to be open. Just cause I did that now, means you have to be the one to open it. Oh God! What? I've never seen anything like this. These are all in baggies. What? Dude, these are legit. There's four things in here. And then what is that? It smells like dirt. It says on this that the items are placed in biohazard bags due to high concentration of negative energy <laughs> assessed via EMF analysis. So what? all of these have crazy EMF energy just radiating off of it. Should we go grab our EMF? Maybe we open it first. You wanna open all the negative energy? <laughs> Stick my hand straight in this negative shit. All right, got the EMF readers. It looks like we got a little doll right here. God. <laughs> You don't break the doll, it could be evil. One team member stated that she felt an intense feeling of despair while she closely examined the doll. Looks like we're chilling right now. When I look at that, I also think it's just gotta be negative. But it's, it's not having EMF energy right now? Nothing right now. All right, so maybe it's debunked. We got a little bracelet. Oh, it's a watch. Yeah, I might wear this every day. It doesn't actually tell the time. One investigator said that it felt like my thumb was impaled by a very cold needle when he ran his thumb along the broken end of the band. What's broken? Aye! Is it steady? It's sharp as fuck. Well, that's probably why. It probably wasn't like a, a paranormal thing. It's just a broken watch. Is it going up? It's not going up at all. I don't think- Oh! We did it? It did! Oh god, no! Yeah, I don't know. It Wait. went off for like two seconds. Oh, fuck! Alright, next oh. item. Necklace and earring set. So, one team member felt like she was being strangled when she removed the item from the box. Are these clip-ons? 
No. No. Should I put these in real quick? Oh, you God. just have a bunch of haunted objects on. You have like an earring, <laughs> a necklace, and a little watch. And then we have really old picks. Because the woman didn't have any relatives, we don't know whose these really belong to. What's really weird is the EMF energy was spiked when the photos were separated. Put this in there. I'm not seeing anything, anything with anything. Well, maybe they're just gonna come bite us in the ass later. Next one. Here we go. Look at this. There's like a chain that's all around it. So it's not just the wax this time. We have to cut metal to get in this. How in the shit? I don't know. You can figure it out. You're not gonna cut no, metal yeah. with scissors. You don't think so. You're gonna break the scissors. God yeah. dang it, dude. You're gonna stab our eyes. Oh, yeah. This. I've never seen a necklace be the thing that keeps a duke box closed, so this could be interesting. Yeah, that's a little strange. It's the smallest duke box I've ever seen. This is like a jewelry box. <laughs> I need to find the uh, the crease, you know? Find the crack and then stick it in. As long as you can just find the crack, you can find the hole. Wait, okay, here's the crack. Here's the button. You got it? It feels good? I found the crack. I found it. Alright. Oh, god damn it! I didn't mean to open that! Open it! I found it! He's open too, he's still on the curse, he's fucked. You have to open the next no. one. No! I didn't know that would open so Oh my god! What is this? This is like a, a jewelry box or something. Oh god, it smells like Christmas. It smells really good. That looks like Ooh. the size of um... That's like the biggest candle I've ever seen. <laughs> it's giant. Guys, I think we got a mail key. Should we go try our own mailbox? It works, so like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, that's sage. That's why it smells like that. Okay, I hope the sage means that it was a blessed thing. What the fuck is that? Yeah, this is some prayer hands on a necklace thing. Coventry. There's this badge that says Wounded Warrior Project from 2018. There's a bent and burnt cross. Like, it's I don't know burnt? if you can tell this. It's like curved and shit and burnt. Does it smell burnt? A little bit. Oh, that's kind of messed up to like burn across. There's a string. Oh wait, maybe the string was supposed to go inside the cross. Oh, it's a cross necklace. Maybe? That's a really tiny necklace. My reaction to this is way happier than the other one. We got a, yeah. a candle, sage, prayer hands, and a cross necklace. I think out of all the spirits of divot boxes we've seen, this seems like on the lighter side. This would protect whatever we just opened in the last box. Yes, hopefully it does. One last thing. Does this have any energy? Nope. All right, next box. Here's the third one, guys. This looks like an old Gucci box, but it's not. Oh, God! What? It has a bunch of scary fucking words on it. What is that at the bottom, guys? That's satanic! Yeah, that's probably some weird witchcraft sign. Whoa! That's like a little skull. Oh, God. Dude, that's... The back is all burnt, too. Oh, jeez. It's 20 cigars from Nicaragua. So, Damn. yeah, a little, little cigar box. You might just be able to pop it. it. Try to pop it. Does that do anything? I can bend the skull. Oh. And not standing up. All right, cut the little metal piece off. Try it open. Yeah, wedge that shit. Oh, it sounds like you will be able to. Yeah! Oh, God. Yeah! It's open. Oh, it's because the skull is right there. Oh. You're so close. Hey! But how do you get into... <laughs> That looks like a freaking voodoo doll. Oh, they're oh. scary. Oh, they're really scary. So they got a bunch of burnt Bible verses. Great. And then I don't really want to touch all these, but like they have things like this that maybe it seem like a voodoo doll or something. That's really scary. I think we oh. unwrap that. Oh, look. This is like a little nail that's connected through here. And then this guy is also connected. He's like tied down. What is going on with this box? This guy was tied to the very center. That is absolutely terrifying. That looks like the grandma in SpongeBob. This means the, the Dybbuk is probably this thing. Yeah. Like they attached it to whatever this is God. and then tied it to the Dybbuk box. Oh, these are little things of sage. To protect? Yeah, probably. Oh my God, the tail is sharp as shit. Oh. This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. This one screams much more evil than the last one. I think we should open this. Be my guest. What is all this shit? It's just Some like popcorn. Popcorn and red pebbles. Red fruity pebbles? I think this it's one has box. the creepiest contents, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely. Oh my god, what is in here? What the fuck is this? What, that looks like a wand almost. This is weird, dude. What is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? It looks like it has like a wishbone in the middle, like oh. an actual bone. 
then a little curly Q on the top. It looks like it would be like a pin, like the size of a pin. That actually does look like some weird wand you would use in a ritual. Let's see if this has Harry Potter magic skills. Do you know uh, a spell? Yeah, I was concentrating. Okay. <laughs> I know we said this a lot. First one had the scariest backstory. Second one seems positive, Jesus-y. Yeah, that, that, that was like a step in the right direction. Then the third one I actually think was scarier than the first one. It might be the scariest one we've ever opened. Yeah, I want this gone. Let's get it gone. <laughs> gone. All right, last box. It does have a bunch of fucking gushers. <laughs> <laughs> this has so much wax. Oh God, there's literally a candle on the side oh of it. Oh my God, dude. This is gonna be fucking hard to open. Yeah, you got this? Give me one second. <laughs> Sounds like there's only <laughs> one thing. You don't like that noise? I don't know, it just gave me the chills <laughs> just listening to that. I've never <laughs> known that gave you chills. Everything gives me chills. I feel like I'm gonna accidentally cut my fingers off. Oh, well, don't do that. Got our bad luck with all these Divic boxes out here. Dude, this is not good. Why the fuck do we open Divic boxes? I get cancer. <laughs> and then we're like, yeah, this is open like four more. It's all right. uh, We always test our luck and it's not good. I hope you guys like these videos because it's genuinely scary. That last box, God I'm damn. I'm kind of terrified of. Guys, if you want us to keep opening Divic boxes, get this to 100,000 likes because if you don't, we're, then we're just not going to do them anymore because we're actually putting ourselves in harm's way. Where the fuck is the creep? Hope not very good at finding the crease. I can't I find your crack. Oh, wait, this is it. Yeah, I think I found it. Oh, yeah! That's right! <laughs> I can just imagine you find the crack on something else besides the dip box, and you're like, oh, yeah! <laughs> Woo! I found it! Let's go! Let's fucking get it! <laughs> oh! Here it is, guys. The final Dybbuk box. And it has one thing inside of it. There's only one thing? Oh my <laughs> god. What is this? <laughs> what the fuck? That can't be a bracelet. That's way too small. Does it have any messaging at all? Nothing. I definitely think this is some sort of jewelry. Can we pry it apart though? Yeah. So. <laughs> Whoa, you know what it is? It's one of those nose rings. If you guys can guess what this little gold noodle is, let us know in the comments. Why is it hum Oh fuck, that was just calibration. I don't think it's emf energy either. This, to me, seems like the least scary Dibbit box of all four. I agree, that wasn't scary at all. If you guys want us to keep opening Dibbit boxes, get this to 100,000 likes, but we're gonna leave this town, uh, leave this house, and never come back. Peace!